So Thanksgiving dinner's done. I ate, it was great, and hung out with family. Back home though, and I am gonna winterize this bike. Uh, change the oil, stabilize. Um, I've had it plugged into the battery tender. I'll replug it back in when I'm done. But um, tonight, most importantly, I need to change the oil. And uh, I've got full synthetic AMS oil sitting over there, a new oil filter, and a sticker, an AMS oil sticker that needs to be applied to the wall somewhere. This is winter prep step four. Should be the final step in the whole thing. And then for the most part, I mean, I, I'm i sure there'll be other things to do for winter, but I'm done for the most part with the spring and summer stuff, getting it put away. Brand new tires on that thing. See that? Gotta polish up the pipes, arm roll everything, detail, coat, wax, and then we're done. Then we're ready for winter parkage. And this is the final step, prepping the bike, parking the bike, being done with the bike totally for the season. I'm gonna run it first, get it warm so the juices flow out a little easier, and then, uh, uh, and then we'll pull the plug and drain everything and put fresh, brand new synthetic oil in. By the way, it is four degrees outside right now. That was one season, that was one riding season. Well, looks good. Oh yeah. Looks really good. I don't know if you can see it. good lighting here, but slightest little bit of residue, powder, uh, metal residue on the plug. That's really good oil. I am really glad I started using that stuff. AMS oil. This is the best investment, the actual Suzuki, Suzuki service manual. Um, Every torque spec, uh, maintenance procedure, um, pretty much everything you need to know. There's some areas that I think they glaze over a little quickly, but uh, this is your best bet towards maintaining your own bike. Oil drain plug, 23 newton meters. Oil filter, 20 newton meters. So this thing has 3.78 liters, and this takes 3.6 liters when you're just changing the oil and filter. 23 newton meters. Twenty-three. Come on now. So the oil filter is made out of a soft tin. And so when you're taking it off, try to be careful, stay square on it, and go slow. If you yank on it really hard, you're going to bend the metal, and you'll be surprised. You won't be able to take it off. You'll have to jump to an oil filter wrench instead of a socket. Go slow, steady, firm, but don't let it slide, and don't crush the nut on the end of the oil filter. And a really good idea somebody shared with me once, they put aluminum foil over the header pipe. Uh, but since mine is dirty and i got to clean it anyway, I'm just going to degrease it with carb cleaner, uh, and then I've got to polish all of it anyway. So I'm not worried about it getting dirty, but really uh, a good idea, put aluminum foil over it, and the oil will just drain around it. You won't have that smoky stuff that you get after an oil change. Works really well. I've said this before, always check to make sure the O-ring uh, gasket on the oil filter is still on the oil filter. It can actually come off and get stuck to the motor, and if you don't notice it and you put the other one on, it'll leak everywhere and you'll have a mess on your hands. And before I put the new oil filter on, I'm going to put a little bit of oil around the O-ring. 
and then spin it on. Then the manual, the Suzuki manual specifications calls for 20 newton meters. Boy, that's close. Ooh, 20 right there. That's 20. All right, now we're all sealed up. I'm gonna clean up the pipe, and then I'm gonna pour the oil in. I always take the air compressor to this first. I keep it clean, but just in case. Always blow it out, clean it out, and if you see anything in there that's stuck, or hit it with some gum out, then use the air compressor. So I have this old spool of rebar wire. I've had it forever, and I always trim off a little piece for situations like this. Um, I'm gonna make a little hook that it goes through here. And then it's gonna hook around um, a wire inside the engine here just to hold it in place because I don't wanna have to hold it up. That way I can use two hands to hold this big heavy bottle of oil. Almost the whole bottle is gonna go in. This stuff is so clear, it's almost like water. Oops, too fast. All right, I put almost every last drop in there. I gotta let it run, and then I gotta check the level. I gotta set it, the bike down on the ground and check the level. This little wire was awesome. That was a good solution. All right, everything's torqued correctly. Oil filter, oil plug, um, wipe down the header. I'm gonna start it now, let it warm up, and then check the oil level. Hear the tone change with fresh oil. Yeah. It's perfect. I'm going to let it run now to get to full operating temperature. There's condensation inside, you can see it. So I'm just going to let it run. It's really hot, it'll burn everything off. Then I can shut it down and park it. It never sounded that good until I got the Power Commander tuned and installed. Installed and tuned. Alright, so that's it. Uh, now my job is just to clean this thing off. I'm going to park it right here. Plug in the battery tender, add some stable to the fuel, and put the cover on. It's been an amazing season. I'm very thankful to be able to ride and uh, thankful to have a place to store the bike. Thankful for the resources to keep it running, tuning it. Thankful for new tires. That last ride was amazing. So, all done. This is all I got. The Suzuki and I will see you in the spring. pipes get really aggressively messed up. What I do is I attack it with chrome and metal polish and a fine steel wool pad and it makes them look like brand new.